Flipped learning is a lesson or concept to be accessed outside of the classroom by students, freeing up classroom time for building deeper understanding of the lesson or concept. The general idea is that you assign videos or other online content for students to view or read on their own time at home so that classroom time can be better used to address practice, inquiry, teacher help, and so on. The benefits seen in flipping classrooms are plenty. The first being that the students are able to watch the lessons at their own pace. Students also take more agency in their learning since they are required to engage in the lessons themselves as opposed to having the teacher try to revert their attention at every step. As students feel more agentic in their learning, they start to take pride in it. Lastly, since the teacher has already delivered the lesson, class time can be better spent as time for teacher-student tutoring, individual practice, or spending extra time on a topic for deeper investigation and understanding. Like with any concept, there are benefits and downsides to its usage. A pro of flipped classroom is that it allows students to move at their own pace with lessons and concepts rather than trying to keep up with the facilitator as they are teaching. This method also allows students to re-access past materials for review. The extra time allotted to teachers in the classroom allows them to now develop a deeper understanding of the material and students challenging some more intellectually compared to traditional classrooms. It can also put a lot of students without the required resources such as computer or internet access at a disadvantage as following along will not be as easy for them. Another is a lack of versatility as it is a method also heavily reliant on the assumption that majority of students have stable internet access and computers at home but has no application if that turns out to not be the case, such as in remote communities or rural areas. The use of this class time can also be used to foster skills outside of the lesson, depending on the activities the facilitator has planned such as team building, collaboration, problem solving, and more, all skills important for today's society. A downside of this method is that it is heavily student reliant, meaning that if they are constantly not doing the work outside of the class, class time will revert back to the traditional style of teaching. The technique also facilitates differentiated learning through carefully selected resources and additional in-class time allotted. Strategies and workarounds for inefficiencies and lack of materials is also limited as it is very time consuming and costly. Flipped classrooms can require a lot of preparation, but that preparation pays off in the long run in student understanding, engagement, and freeing up of time in class. The flipped classroom requires a change in pedagogical perspective, mostly in that the time spent in class is no longer focused around the lecture. The focus for the teacher becomes shifted towards the role of support, as outlined in the next section. A teacher of a flipped classroom, more or less, has the same qualities that a traditional teacher may have. It is how they employ them and where the emphasis is that makes the difference. Teachers are expected to post and provide the content and visuals for the students to access ahead of time and ensure that they are adequate for students to extract the knowledge you want them to come to class with. During classroom time, teachers act as the coaches they are trained to be, helping students foster better understanding through activities, application, practice, and so on. Students also have similar responsibilities to their traditional counterparts. The biggest difference is that they must take active charge of their learning, deciding when and where to view the content before class, how they take their notes, etc. They must adapt to coming to class prepared with the content mentioned in the video in order to best use their classroom time. The materials that you could possibly need to adapt a lesson or a class to a flipped classroom setting can vary greatly, and the list we want to provide is by no means exhaustive. The few materials crucial to bringing a flipped classroom to life are a computer with internet access, a movie editing or screen capturing program if you plan on making your own instructional videos or content, and a way for students to access the material they are supposed to view, whether through URL link, class website, or other public website. 
The considerations for accessibility materials are just as important as students may not have computers or internet access at home. In this case, blank CDs or flash drives preloaded with content may be required. You may need to allow students access to computers at the school. Finally, you should consider any students with exceptionalities in your class that may hinder them from accessing material, such as hearing impairments, vision problems, and so on. We'll conclude our video with a short but effective list of resources that will set you on the right path for effectively employing flipped learning strategies in your classroom. Doc's Flipped Classroom is a teacher-run website from someone who has flipped almost his entire classroom and has developed a wealth of research into practice style lessons and workshops to help you become comfortable with adapting flipped classrooms to your learning environment. Screencastify.com is a free online web browser extension that allows for seamless screen and webcam capturing, complete with annotation controls and mouse click animations. When you're done capturing, you can export the file directly to your Google Drive or to a destination of your choice. FlippedLearning.org is an online community forum with contributions from many educators who have employed or tweaked flipped learning in their classrooms. On the website, you can read content, contribute, and connect with fellow flipped educators. KhanAcademy.org, originally created by Sal Khan, is an online database of instructional videos useful for teaching a variety of topics such as math, science, English, history, and others. Finally, we have WatchKnowLearn.org, an online database of thousands of instructional videos ranging over a plethora of topics, and, of course, university websites and Google searches. These types of searches and resources typically yield thousands of forums, databases, and articles based on the effectiveness of flipped learning and is in fact where we found most of our resources.